Traffic on the Brooklyn Bridge has become something of a nightmare. But it's not the cars that are producing the latest transportation headache. It's the pedestrians, the cyclists, and yes, the vendors selling all manner of tourist tchotchkes, the souvenirs. That's what's creating the congestion bottlenecks. Tour guide Mark Samuel says it's become... Extremely dangerous. I'm on this bridge about twice a day over the course of a year. I personally have witnessed at least two, three collisions between cyclists and pedestrians, so I'm sure there's probably much more than that. The numbers are quite mind-boggling. A 275% increase in weekend pedestrian traffic since last year. That's 32,453 people on the bridge each weekend. A 104% increase in the number of people on bicycles in the last 10 years. The mix of speeding bikers and pedestrians can create havoc. We've just been going down the bridge shouting, excuse me, move out the way the whole way. Which is why the Department of Transportation is considering building a separate protected bike lane, possibly even widening the pedestrian walkway. The growth in the past decade of pedestrians and cyclists on the Brooklyn Bridge has been phenomenal. It is now the fifth largest tourist attraction in New York City. The biggest question is a weighty one. Just how much extra weight the 134-year-old iconic structure can hold. Commissioner Trottenberg says the cables have to be inspected to see if new construction is possible and if so, how much. They were last inspected in the 80s, and that will help us answer the question about how much more weight the bridge can support. In the meantime, DOT is considering some other things, a new approach structure from the Manhattan side of the bridge, and new rules that could limit vending, possibly even moving them. They are not happy about that. This is my job. Like, you have a job, you come to work every day. The police have a job, they come to work every day. So this is my job. What do you expect? Well, it's going to take two years to inspect the bridge cables. One thing the department has ruled out, however, creating a new bike lane on the vehicle level of the bridge. They say it would increase traffic backups, and that's really true. It is. All right, Marsha, thank you.